first bite. The sauce is well. It's really good. <laughs> Mamma mia, we're gonna make a pizza pie today. Today, we're gonna bring a pizza maker. So this is a perfect thing to do. If you wanna do it in your backyard, we're gonna do it in our backyard. At night, you wanna do lunch, dinners. Uh, you could also do bread on this machine, but today we're gonna do a pizza with it. We're gonna test it out. So let's go ahead and review a couple things you get. First of all, if you guys can see, they give you the metal piece, all right? And this is very important because this is where it's gonna retain all the pizza. Uh, manual is very important. The motor, the motor does require batteries. This is not a power. So you're going to require two D batteries, all right? And it tells you right here, two D batteries, all right? Right below, off and on button, simple. Now they do give you the cable. It's not that long. This is the cable for the actual propane tank that you need to provide your own propane tank, a tool, all right? A wrench, so you can actually set that up. And then of course, a heat glove, all right? So this is all silicone base. Inside is internal for in case you're gonna get burned or anything like that. Look at that. Look at the inside. Look, love. They give you this for free. So you don't have to use it just for a piece. You can use it for anything else. So that's a really good um, extra stuff that they add in here. So it came in a box, very heavy. It takes about two people to set it up, uh, to pick it up actually, because I wouldn't recommend one guy here, right? It's about three, 30 or 40 pounds. You know, depends on it. Now, the legs are foldable. So this is, tra you could transport this, very simple. You could transport it, take it anywhere. Uh, on and off button, simple. Also to turn it on. So to turn it on, you have to push up. You have to press down, I'm sorry. Press down and then click. And you'll hear it click. And you'll see the clicking light. We're actually gonna see where it, what turns on. There's actually a static uh, light that turns on so it could power it on. Now, if we go to the back, you have to plug in your propane tank in here. Um, suggestion, if it's if you think it's leaking, plumber's tape. It's, a, it's, it's necessary if you don't want to prevent any kind of gas leaks or anything like that. So really good. Um, wouldn't put it on full blast yet. You want to make sure the first time you turn this on, you turn it on for like maybe an hour to half an hour so it could burn any particle dust. And you guys can see it came out of the factory. You got to remove this stuff. And to do that, you need to heat it up. So turn it on prior to using it. Um, cure it. It's called curing it. But there's other ways to do it. People throw from vegetables, fruit, um, garlic, and so forth. But my way is just to turn it on. Let the fumes kill the rest of the stuff. Now, another thing is that it doesn't take a genius to put this together. Two or three pieces ready to go. And plug it in and set it up. So let's take a look at it and see how it works. We turn it on its side so you guys can see, all right? We're gonna set this up right here. All you gotta do is slide it in, but before that, just make sure that you, you drop this from the bottom too. So we're gonna slide it in, all right? And this is removable. You can move it anytime. Now, this is for it preventing not to actually slide over, right? All you gotta go inside and drop this in there. All right, very crucial. Make sure you do have that little washer, the little plastic washer in there or you're gonna get a leak, all right? Make sure that's in there pro properly before we set that up in here. So all you gotta do is just line it up and set it up, all right? So all right, we're gonna put the tray in now. Line it up, it's fixed already. Up, clay goes in, line it up, and that should do it. All right, just added the batteries. I'm gonna push the button. If you guys can see it rotating now. So just to see it rotating because you might not see it in the picture. Yeah. The wrench that they give you, it's available, right? They, it's in it, it came with it. So just make sure you use it to tie it up, hand tie it too first. We got some gas now. We're gonna pump it up and I tied it up. We're gonna release the valve right now in a bit and then I'm gonna turn it on. So let's go ahead and do that, release the valve. There it is, I released the valve. Now, all we gotta do is there it is. Now we can see the flames back there. They're turning on, if you guys can see that. So all we gotta do is burn off some of the particles and dust and packaging that came along with it. Maybe run it for a couple minutes, an hour maybe. And then come back later on and start cooking pies. All right, we're gonna put our first pizza. It's getting a little dark in here, but you can actually see the light. So let's go ahead and put the first pizza in. In the oven it goes. There we go, and it starts spinning, and we're going to come back, 
and see how it goes. All right, it's cooking very well. I could hear it sizzling. It's coming along. So let's see at the end how it goes. Pizza's coming along good. Uh, I think it's ready. It's ready. Let's take a look at it. And we don't have to. Sh we don't have to. We don't have to move the pizza all the time because it's actually spinning. So we put our glove on. All right. You could go. I like the, the glove. You could go either or. So we're gonna. Closer. Look at that beautiful. Look at that beautiful pizza. Oh. Took about two to three minutes to do. Not that bad. Put it down. Look at beautiful pizza. Simple, easy to use. We're gonna keep using more pizzas tonight. We're gonna do three or four pizzas and whatever flavor you want. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, so scoop up the pizza with this. Beautiful, beautiful. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.